Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and I'm your website guy. In this video I'll show you how to get a Let's Encrypt wildcard SSL certificate for free that you can use on GoDaddy or any other web hosting. After this video all your subdomains will be secured. We are going to use a simple online tool that will check that you own the domain with DNS text records and it will generate a certificate for you. In addition, I will show you how to always redirect your users from HTTP to HTTPS using just a few lines of code. What do you think, Arnie? Get to the chopper! Tip sweat punch. Now, the wildcard SSL certificate is totally free and it's provided by Let's Encrypt. But the drawback is that you will need to renew it every 90 days. I used a free SSL like this one for about two years, but since I have many domains and subdomains, I got a bit tired of renewing it every 90 days. So I went on and bought a wildcard SSL for like $39 a year from Namecheap. And now I only need to renew it every year. If you're interested in doing this, check out the video that will appear on your screens, top right corner right now. So somewhere here. With all due respect, sir, you're beginning to bore the hell out of me. Okay, okay, let's get started. So, start by going to Google and type in punch salad SSL wildcard generator or check the link in the description. And in this case, the tool should come up as a first option. Just click on it and you'll end up on a page like this. This is the SSL certificate generator. All right, so then in the first field, type in star for the wildcard certificate, then dot and your domain name, linktopus.net. In addition, if you're using this naked domain, then type it in. So in my case, it's just linktopus.net. So I'm not using www, but actually it's always redirected to this URL, to this domain. This is just called naked domain, a bit like 80s gym clothing. Ivan Drago. And if you want this to be secured as well, just add it in here with the comma. And then add your email address. And then make sure you choose DNS verification because this won't work with HTTP. Then just accept the Let's Encrypt terms and conditions if you agree with them. And then click on Create Free SSL Certificate. And then you'll see this page. And basically just says that you're trying to verify these two domains and then what to do but i'm going to show you all the steps so just scroll down to this table and you'll see here some really weird characters that only robots can understand no problemo next we will head to godaddy and we will create two text records in the dns this will help let's encrypt to verify that you own the domain now what you need to do is go to your web hosting. So in my case, it'll be GoDaddy and then sign in. Once you're signed in, you can come here at the top on this, click on this mosaic and click on domains. And this doesn't matter even if your domain is not with GoDaddy, mine is with Namecheap, it still shows up here because it's hosted on GoDaddy. Click on the, on the domain you want to verify, and then here you'll see you're in a DNS management page, and you have a bunch of records here. So what we need to do is add new records. So let's click on add, and then we're gonna select the type. In this case, it will be TXT, and now it's asking for host. So now we go back to the tool, all we need to do is just grab this part. So Acme challenge, copy, paste it in. Now this value depends a little bit on your web hosting. So in uh, GoDaddy, you don't need to add the domain again, but in your web hosting, it might be the case. And go back and grab this value, the first value. And back to the tool and paste it in. Now, the TTL you want to change to the minimum, which in this case is 600 seconds. Jürgen, how many minutes is that? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. And then you can click on save. 
Okay, that's great. That's what you, what you want to see. And what actually happens is you can see that you have only here uh, this dash Acme challenge. And actually, GoDaddy will add this part automatically. That's why we're not adding it there. So next, let's grab the second one as well. In our case, there's actually two records that are with the same name. So again, let's select text. Host is the same, but the value will be slightly different. So just copy it, come back here and paste the value. Again, set the TTL to custom and 600 seconds and then save. Now you should have two values here and usually these get updated within a few minutes but it can take up to uh, 10 minutes as it sets here. So now I would wait at least five minutes. Go back to the tool. If you try to now validate it, you can always check the DNS here. So if you click on check DNS, you can see it already actually updated. So this tool already is able to tell you that it can see this DNS record. And let's check the second one. Both of them seem to be fine and that's great. That means we can proceed. Now, if you still have errors and you're not sure why the DNS check is failing, I have a video to, for you to check that and debug it. It'll appear on your screen's top right corner right now. Once you get OK from both of these, then you can click on this verified do domain button. Otherwise, this won't work. Now, this might take uh, from 30 seconds to a minute. The Let's Encrypt is generating the certificate. Just keep in mind that this certificate will expire in 90 days. Cool. Now we have the certificate and we need to install it on GoDaddy. So let's do that now. And once done, you'll see a table like this, two fields. One includes the CRT and CA bundle and the second one has the private key. So let's just uh, download these two. So click on the download button and this one too. This is just in case you don't actually need it if everything goes well. And then just take all of it, just grab everything and copy. And make sure you even include this and certificate stuff. That's all part of it. And then go back to GoDaddy. And now here you need to find this mosaic again, my products. And we're going to find the web hosting here. So I only have one. So click on manage. And we're going to go to cPanel. So click on that. Here in the top field, just type in SSL. And under security, you have this SSL. Just click on it. On this page, you can add a new SSL certificate. So let's just do that. You can click on manage SSL sites here. And if you scroll down, you'll see this drop down where you can select the domain. And I'm going to select the one you just saw, so linktopus.net. So what's your domain name? I'm not shooting on you. And now we can actually paste everything in this field. But you can see it's telling it's not valid, but it's just because we have two certificates in one. So let's, you see, there's an end certificate and beginning certificate, so we need to cut this part, the bottom part out like this. And now the warning is gone and you can see here that this certificate is actually covering these domains. So the wildcard and the naked domain. And then scroll down and paste the part we just cut out and paste it in here. And then go back to the SSL generator and scroll down and just grab all of this and copy it. And this is the private key and we're going to paste it in the private key field like this. All right. And now everything looks fine. I'm going to click on install certificate. And now you can see here there's a pop up that basically tells us what's included in the certificate. You can see that it doesn't tell you much here. But once you click on OK and scroll down. You can see that now Linktopus has actually covered all of these domains. So basically pretty much all of the subdomains are covered now. Since this is not the subdomain, it doesn't include 
this is just for you don't need to worry about this because actually the domain here is the punchsalad.com which is not part of this certificate and you're not going to really need it and if we go to the website now you can click here and just add https and your domain name and now you can see you have this padlock and that means your website is fully secured and it has the SSL certificate installed correctly. Isn't that great, buddy? Don't call me buddy, pal or sweetheart. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Now, you might have noticed that if you type in HTTP in front of your domain, it still shows not secure. So next, we need to create a simple redirect from HTTP to HTTPS so that even if someone tries to use HTTP, it will redirect automatically to HTTPS. Now the problem is, if it's still HTTP, if somebody comes to your site with HTTP, it will still give you this error. So let's get back to cPanel, and then just click on the cPanel logo, and then click on File Manager. This will open up a new tab, and in this tab, just find your domain. In my case, it's in the public HTML folder, and because this is not my primary domain, it's an add-on domain, it's somewhere here. So I have here linktopus.net. But if this is your primary domain, so the only domain you have on GoDaddy, then it's already here in the public HTML folder. So let me access my domain. And actually here, you see there's a lot of files, but what we need is this .ht access file. If you don't see it, make sure you go to settings here on the top right and just check this checkbox to show hidden files and then right click on this file and choose edit here you'll see a bunch of code but we're not interested in it just leave it just come to the bottom of this page and then you'll need this code which i will put in the description so don't worry you need to don't even need to write it and just place it here like this just at the bottom and then save changes. And in summary, here is what the code does. You've been redirected. And now if we open up a new private window and just use the HTTP of our domain name, you'll see that it will redirect automatically to HTTPS and then you have the padlock. To renew this SSL certificate, just set a calendar reminder to do this every 87 days and just redo the whole process except the HD access file part. You don't need that. You just need to install that once. Great, you've done it. You have now a fully secured website, including all your subdomains. But just in case, let's take a look at the most common issues with the installation. Now, just in case, if you see something like this where you have an exclamation mark with a padlock or something like that, this is called mixed content warning and you can just check it by right clicking anywhere on your site and choosing inspect element. This works in all browsers. And here you just go to the console tab and here you'll see that loading mixed display content, blah, blah, blah. So this kind of issues you can see that actually this image is loaded with HTTP. So you need to change that to HTTPS. And I have a detailed video about this and you can uh, check it for WordPress and normal websites and, and both of them will be in the description. So don't worry, in about five minutes, you'll get this sorted. And also if you have any other issues, I have a blog post about it. It's been live for about three years. so. There's a lot of things that users like you have reported and I've added them here. So if you have any issues, just check this page and maybe there's a resolution to your problem. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Since your website is secured now, next let me show you the must-have plugins for WordPress website that help with SEO, speed, and security. Or in the second video, I'll explain how to write articles that rank on Google. Whoosh.